This question or comment comes to us from Michael James. Um, and it was more a comment than a question, but he says, that right foot drop back drill, he says, I went out and played nine holes the other day with my right foot drop back, and I, I hit every, every fairway and every green. And so that's really magic. Well, see, the reason it works, let's talk about why. For so long, everybody tried to not sway, stabilize their right hip, get back, get off their right side. So what happened was, by not letting your right hip move back, by not letting this hip do this, you, there was no space for your arms to swing into. And then by trying to push off and get off your right side, your body got way out ahead of the club so it was hard to catch the face up. So the center circle and the outside circle with the club, see those circles didn't match because you were trying to do this so much. Now when we drop your right foot back, you swing back your hips out of the way and you come down. Now as you go through the ball, this circle, core, whatever you want to call that, and the outside circle in the, are in the right sequence to square the face. So I was watching the other day on TV, watching the tour event, and almost every one of these guys, especially when they're trying to hit it hard, they all set up and right before they hit it, they drop their right foot back. Why? Because that helps them get their right hip out of the way and it gives them a lot more time to hit the ball and it gives them a bigger turn. So other than bigger turn, hits it farther and is more consistent, there's no reason to really do it. Now is there a downside? The only downside to doing that, if you drop your foot back, what you can't do is also turn your shoulders with it and or have your swing path follow your foot line. So regardless of where my feet are, whether they're open square or closed, you see my shoulders, my eye line, and the swing arc of my club stayed the same. What moving your feet does is it accommodates or allows your lower body to do different things. That's why players adjust with their feet because it puts their body in different positions for them to be able to use their arms different ways. So your body's important as the stability, but it's gotta stay out of the way. So again, dropping that right foot back, everybody should do that drill. Everybody should learn to do that. The better you do that drill, and then you transition maybe up to square, but if you're better with your stance closed, there's only been 25 or 30% of the premier golfers in the history of golf that have played from close, probably more than that. So why not, why can't you do it? So just go ahead and try it. If it works, use it. Hi, this is Mike Malaska from malaskagolf.com. We're going to talk a little bit here about your hips. Everybody talks about how their hips move up into the ball. Well, the biggest reason they do is you go back and when you start down, you try to push off your right side. It's not a push off and turn your hips. When you start down, your left leg pushes your left hip out of the way. So it's just moving this hip socket back. So really, I go back and my left hip goes back to meet my right hip. It's concepts like that at malaskagolf.com that are going to make it a lot easier for you to play the game. So go to malaskagolf.com, sign up, get the confusion out of your head, play a lot better golf.